Hello everybody, this is Rudra Pradhan here. Welcome to Engineering Econometrics. Today we will continue with nonlinear regression molding, that to qualitative response regression molding, where we are actually discussing the forms of model like linear probability model, logit model and probit model. In the last two lectures, we have discussed the structure of linear probability model, logit model and probit model. In fact, we have analyzed this uh, you know the first two models that to linear probability model and logit model with a kind of you know, examples and uh, uh, you know the kind of you know models are such a way the information will be transported into probability forms either either it will be 0 or 1 or in between. When the particular transformation will be 0 1 only, then you can use simply linear probability model. Then when the transformation will be in between 0 to 1, then you can use either logit model or probit model, which we have already discussed. So, in the last lecture, what we have discussed that you know uh, the variable in the independent variable side is the salary and the dependent variable side is the people's own house or and the counterpart is the rented house. So, that means, the problem which we have discussed earlier is that it is the salary which can decide whether people can stay in the rented house or staying in the you know own house. Theoretically, the expectation is that you know if people have high salary or high income, they can have their own house and people having low salary, they can stay in the rented house. That is what the perception. If people have high salary and they can stay their own house, then the coefficient should be positive in nature. If not, then the coefficient should be negative in nature. So, so in the case of you know, first models, that is the linear probability model, we just ask the individuals about their salary and whether they are staying in a rented house or own house. So, we can generate the information and simply run the model and then test the model as per the theoretical expectation. Again same problems we have investigated through logit model, where the forms of the model will be like this. Uh, we need actually probability p like there if people having own house then it will be 1, then p becomes 1 and if people have no house then p becomes 0. So, only yes, no, 0, 1 that is the kind of you know, things and that is the requirement of linear probability model. But in this case, in this case uh, we need actually p in between 0 to 1. Then corresponding to p we need 1 minus p and then we need a ratio p by 1 minus p and then we go for log transformation of this odd ratio and then integrate with the independent variable. That is what the case is all about and uh, for that we have already discussed and uh, having information about you know yes no, this model will not work and for that we have used group sampling. So, that means instead of you know 20 individuals, we can you know have 20 organizations then every organization you should have a couple of samples may be 20, 30, 40 like this and with the uh, expectations or the structure is that you know out of 40 few will be you know having on house at least few will be having on house. So, that you know we can have a probability value. So, the probability value will be you know total sample will be the kind of you know indicator and out of which how many are actually having on house. So, then the p value will be people having on house divided by total observ you know total sampling which you have actually interacted. So, then you will get a probability value that is what the p value and by default 1 minus p will be the difference and then you can just have the ratio we will we'll call it your odd ratio and then after the transformations we can have the actual dependent variable which can be integrated with the independent variable that too in the form of you know uh, logistic structure. So, this is what the logistic structure. So, that means 
actually if you transfer into exponential form it is nothing but you know p by a 1 minus p a, a equal to e to the power alpha plus beta x. So, just you know and that means technically the particular form is a logistic format only. So, it is a linear format and that the linear probability model is the linear format and here nonlinear format that to the application of you know logistic functions. So, likewise we have already discussed. So, the form of the logistic function will be like this it is clearly indicated that you know uh, it is a nonlinear in character compared to the previous you know uh, linear probability model the structure will be straight line and here the structure will be a simple you know uh, like you know a, a S type you know structure and uh, we will use group sampling to analyze this particular case. So, the interpretation will be also uh, you know like that if odd ratio is actually uh, high then it is a positive impact if odd ratio is having low then it is actually low impact or you know negative impact. So, likewise we can actually connect with the various other problems and then you know analyze whether you know logit model is a very effective component to address some of the engineering problems as per the particular you know uh, requirement and then come to the decision making process through which you can actually predict the dependent variable through this independent variable where dependent variable information is completely you know qualitative in structure. So, this is this is another kind of you know bank examples where you know you can actually have a dependent variables like you know financial inclusions and the measurement will be people having bank account and not having bank account and we, we are interested to know what are the factors which can uh, allow the people to have bank and uh, if not what are the factors so that you know people having the bank. So, so that means technically we like to know what are the factor responsible for the financial inclusion. So, uh, these are the things we, we like to actually check here and uh, uh, so for that you know uh, this can be the one of the uh, uh, you know uh, multi multiple regression model that is the extended version of the previous ones like you know uh, people having house and the salary. So, now here so uh, bank account and then the factors affecting the bank account like you know uh, let us say income is a factor then the kind of you know family members can be actually factors. So, like that you know uh, the a kind of you know structure which you can have to analyze the situation and in between you can also go for interactive effect and then you check whether interactive effect can have the uh, impact on the uh, you know dependent variable whether we like to study the finance determinants of you know financial inclusions. So, now uh, it can be extended to any forms like that means it, I told you earlier it is a logistic function. So, uh, ultimately the it, you know the dependent variable will be a you know a ratio between exponential of you know alpha plus beta 1 r plus beta 2 x plus beta 3 r x that is the uh, independent variable structure and 1 plus e to the power x against that 2 with respect to r x and you know r x that is the interactive effect. And uh, here the sample examples uh, uh, you know uh, another uh, kind of an example is you know uh, whether loan will be approved and not uh, not approved. So, again 0 1 kind of you know structure and what are the factors responsible for that uh, return on assets, debt and officer in charge. So, these are the things which can affect the dependent variables. So, ultimately the dependent variable case is the you know loan approved which is actually 1 EPS uh, uh, 0 if not again the same problem can be analyzed through linear probability models and can be applied to logit model. And again, in the case of logit models, you need group sampling rather than individual sampling. Otherwise, it is more or less same like the previous problem which you have discussed. And these these are the you know results, and we find actually it is statistically significant. And uh, so that means uh, this model is uh, very effective against uh, you know to uh, uh, predict the dependent variable with respect to the independent variables. We are the dependent variable is the qual is the qualitative structure that to uh, either in between 0 to 1 or uh, you know 0 uh, uh, you know 0 and 1 only. 
So, this is how the you know structure through which you can actually analyze the you know problems and then come with the kind of you know, of course, uh, if you compare with the L linear probability model and logit model, we will find drastic difference uh, compared to the last problems which which you have analyzed with respect to uh, people saving house and then the salary structure, the logit model gives better results. So, now uh, you know all these three forms of the models are similar in character, only thing is you know the functional forms which you can apply to estimate the structure is different. In the first case you use simply state line equation, second one is the logistic, uh, logistic equation and the third one is the normal density you know functions. So, which we will discuss just now that is what called as you know probit models. So, let us come to come back to the probit model structure and that is what uh, uh, the case yes this is what the probit model and in the probit model and uh, like the previous case you know log p upon 1 minus p a p uh, uh, with you know alpha plus beta x 1 beta x 2 and so on. So, here the same structure. So, that means technically there is you no know, difference again. So, this side it is more or less same only z is the kind of you know transformation. So, that means, so we have a linear probability models, we have a logit and we have actually probit. Okay. So, in the logit case it is the log p by 1 minus p okay, log p upon 1 minus p and in case of linear probability model simply y which is actually in between 0 to 1 and in the case of you know probit it is the kind of you know, uh, uh, you know normal density function that is 2 that is uh, that is here actually it is it is the case here and uh, in both the cases the sample information will be in between 0 to 1 only. So, no 0, no 1. So, it is in between that is the game which you can like to apply here in the case of you know uh, probit model. So, uh, what we can do actually? So, let us take the examples. So, that means what we have discussed earlier the similar examples I am just taking. So, that means uh, if you if you solve this same problems like you know in, uh, this is the linear probability case uh, you know uh, people having house and the salary structure that two through linear probability model. This is what the uh, final sampling which you can use for the estimation and again if you go to the actual logit model, uh, this is the data structure which you like to follow finally, uh, to estimate the models. That means, this is the final transformation data and that two with the independent variables. And now, we, we come to the third uh, you know third one that is the probit model and here the probability model structure is same like you know logit model and we need actually group sampling because uh, uh, the first hand information should be in between 0 to 1. So, uh, so best way to represent the group sampling rather than individual sampling. So, what we can do here? So, we have actually same structure of the data. So, income then you know we have actually a uh, you know organizational choice or household choice locational stress and then uh, you know you try to find out how many are actually very effective same same questions you know whether they have the own house or they are staying in the rented house. So, that means first organization we are you know uh, targeting 40 and out of which 80 are actually having one house. So, by default probability will be 8 by 40 similarly second organization uh, 50 will be the uh, 50 will be the target uh, 50 will be the final target out of which 12 is the uh, case of you know having on house. So, by default 12 by 50 is the probability values likewise 60, 18, 80, 28, 145. So, we have actually probability that is the simply the ratio between small n to capital N like the previous one which we have discussed. After getting the probability value, so we will go for actually a you know uh, uh, normal density functions. In the case of logit, so, we need actually 1 minus p that is q, then you find p by 1 minus p and then you will go for you know log of this particular you know odd ratio. Here what will you do? So, after getting the p you can directly go to the normal density function. So, that means what here we have done here. So, this is the normal density function. So, uh, we just uh, apply the transformation and then you know scroll it we will get you know the entire you know observations right. So, this is what actually 
uh, the kind of you know case through which uh, we can get the data and uh, uh, what we can do here uh, you just scroll it okay then you know you can get get to know this value okay yeah, let's come so this is what actually actual transformation so what what we are doing actually just you put equal to sign here i'm just showing how it appears then you ask for you know normal distribution transformation okay so this is a normal distribution transformation then click here so the moment you will click you will find here the first and the requirement that's and that's actually the kind of you know p value then the requirement is mean and standard deviations which you can put actually let's say 0 and 1 and then and the cumulative uh, cumulative structure oh, okay so then okay all right all right okay so this is what actually the kind of you know i just edit all right this coming Okay, so there is a slightly error here. So, okay, all right. Normal distributions. Okay. See. Yes, you can click this ones, and then you find out here the value, and again, then zero, then. 1 and then yes now it is clear so you just put this ones and you know close the loop you will get the value that's exactly coming okay so now you can scroll this ones yes the same value is appearing here so now this is what the actually requirement of the dependent variables and that too it's actually uh, ndf transformations normal distribution function transformation like logit models we have log p upon 1 minus p here simply actually the kind of you know, transformation we have to apply for you know probit model then again so you go to the data analysis and again put a uh, you know okay and reset the uh, reset the structure and here this will be the uh, you know information which will be for probit model and as usual this is the income structure and then I run the models so uh, which will appear like this and again uh, this is an interesting model again and we will find you know uh, uh, very uh, you know high r square and f is statistically significant and then the coefficient is also I mean say the x variable coefficient is also statistically significant and uh, and uh, uh, and the kind of you know prediction is very good here and that means technically if you will compare let us say here uh, 0.96 then r square is 0 0.93 115 so if you compare with the logit model output so the logit model output will be one f is 134.97 and uh, here if you will say probit model then it is 115 okay so that means 134 and 115 so here uh, i think you know if you compare these two models then ultimately logit model gives you know better kind of you know uh, you know kind of you know indications while predicting the uh, independent variable to dependent variable that to uh, you know salary with the uh, you know case of you know whether people having on house or rented house so that means actually uh, the, uh, once you identify the problem and uh, you know structure the problems you know to know the dependent variable structure independent variable structure then you know just you know uh, apply the estimation by linear probability models then logit model and probit model of course the sampling structure and the uh, dependent variable structuring is a little bit you know different uh, but the way we have actually done the transformation it's not so difficult one and in fact some of the softwares you need not require to do the transformation you must have the first and output and by default software will transfer into the logit format and probit format then we will go for the kind of an you know, estimation ultimately what is happening that you know we have a three different you know kind of you know, alternatives and uh, same problems you can investigate with these three alternatives in one case 
the things are in a linear in character. Then the other two cases it is in nonlinear in characters where one one case we use logit functions and another case there is actually normal density function. Since we are using different functional form linear and then nonlinear with logit and nonlinear with normal density function, then there is a high chance you know uh, you know the model results will not be uniform. Of course, what is the unique of this you know three models uh, whatever we have tested here that you know every time the coefficients are coming positive. So, that means, uh, it is going as per the theory, but uh, so far as the reliability is concerned and you know the logit model is much better compared to linear probability model and probit model. Of course, not necessarily every time logit model will be better choice than the probit model or the linear probability model. Some instances linear probability model may be good to predict the dependent variables which is actually qualitative in nature corresponding to independent variable and the other case uh, you know uh, you know again logit model may be good to predict the dependent variable with respect to independent variable. So, uh, so technically uh, you know we have no idea which model actually very effective uh, for this case. So, we can just test it then we can get to know which one is the uh, you know uh, good models and then final choice for the prediction will be on that model only. So, the other models by default will be discarded. Uh, in fact, it is a kind of you know robustness check process since you know same problems we are investing uh, you know with respect to three different formats. So, then finally, we have to choose the particular format which is very effective and that will be on the basis of reliability check and the kind of you know model requirements and more or less the in nature of the kind of you know problems will not you know so you know different, but you know the reliability part will be specifically you know uh, different which we have already seen here uh, in this samples while uh, you know connecting salary with you know uh, people having the own house or the rented house. Uh, so, that is the kind of you know situations where you can use linear probability models, logit models and probit models. So, now you know this is how the kind of you know structure and uh, similarly there, there are you know various or uh, you know other forms of models you know problems where you know we can use either you know linear probability models or logit model or probit model, but ultimately uh, the transformation should be actually uh, you know either in 0 1 format that with dependent variables or in between 0, 0 to 1 and uh, that to again depend on variable. So, no uh, no restriction or no specific indication about the independent variables group, but dependent variable structure should be like that to apply linear probability model, logit models and probit model. So, this is another example and uh, by the way, so these are all similar kind of you know testing you can do same same you will find and then you have to check uh, you know the kind of in fact log likelihood ratio also can be a indicator which can actually uh, project whether the model is a good fit or you know bad fit. So, in sometimes you know in the case of you know logit and probit model we use actually a shadow r square instead of you know simple r square you know adjusted r square, but ultimately these are all different you know dynasty parameter through which you can actually justify the reliability of the model, but you know whether r square or f that you know or you know some kind of you know uh, shadow r squares or you know chi square all these indicators will be you know very useful, but ultimately if the model is good everything will be in a right shape. So, the reliability will be also very good. So, then final choice will be on the basis of reliability and then you can actually pick up a particular you know models to analyze the situations where the dependent variable will be qualitative in nature and that too with respect to independent variables. So, that means, we have here lots of you know flexibility to predict a particular you know engineering problems and where uh, you know again dependent variable will be qualitative in character that to in a kind of you know probability structure and then we we may link with you know or we will link with you know the independent variables where uh, you know uh, all are numeric in nature or uh, you know uh, few are actually numeric and few are qualitative 
or uh, maybe few are also uh, means all are maybe you know qualitative in nature. So, that means technically uh, so dependent variable is here restriction. So, no restriction to the independent variable it may be a, any forms, but uh, 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 dependent variable should be in a specific forms. Okay. So, either in 0 1 format or in between 0 1 format. So, that is why it is a specialized kind of you know uh, modeling uh, and as a result it cannot be applied each and every engineering problem. So, you have to you have to apply this problem in a specific kind of you know situation where there is a there is a need and you know there is a kind of you know requirement. So, these are all various examples and how you, you have to interpret exactly. So, what I have already told you know it is the in the case of you know logit model and probit model. Uh, the uh, kind of you know, reliability and the kind of interpretation is a slightly different and through different kind of you know, indication. For instance, in the case of logit, we use your odd ratio to uh, you know give the interpretation or to analyze the kind of you know, problem uh, while you know predicting dependent variable with independent variable. So that means technically, uh, you know, in the case of you know, nonlinear regression modeling, we have plenty of choice. Uh, you know to you know pick up a particular problem and to analyze the problem as per the particular engineering requirement and the kind of you know uh, management decision requirement. Uh, with this we will stop here and in the next class we will start with you know time series modeling then after knowing the time series modeling we can go for the panel data modeling. Since, uh, since we have discussed the domain modeling concept and uh, that is uh, that is the you know one of the big component or you know important component through which you can understand the panel data modeling. And uh, since in the panel data modeling the structure will be both time series structure and you know cross sectional structure. So, first we discuss the time series structure and whatever problem we have discussed till now is a kind of you know cross sectional structure. And after knowing the time series structure we can move to the panel data structure and various other other types of you know, you know special kind of you know problems which we have already highlighted uh, you know like like the case here uh, you know or like what we can call uh, you know count data model discrete model, you know modeling and the kind of you know duration modeling. So, uh, so th this is a you know flow which you like to maintain and uh, you know uh, before you go to this you know specialized kind of you know modeling. So, let us uh, you know see how is the time series modeling and uh, with this you know we can stop here. Thank you very much.